some more news. Um, the Browns are going to re-sign Anthony Walker. He visited with the Commanders, uh, but he has agreed to terms um, with the Browns, a one-year deal per sources. So they go out and they address the linebacker position with a guy who is familiar, uh, well-liked. Um, the medicals, you, the Browns are going to know him as well as anybody, so they must have checked out. And um, I, I like the signing. I'm, I'm glad Anthony Walker is back. Um, of the guys that were available, he was one of the guys that I near the top of the list. We've talked in the last couple of weeks about the the Browns changing their philosophy on some of the way they did things. You know, defensive tackle. This is something they tried to go. You know, basically a lower budget on. It didn't work out. Um, for whatever anybody wants to say about the way the Browns have handled the linebacker room during the Barry Stefanski, you know, run here, it's not been putting a lot of money towards it. But if you're looking at it from that standpoint, the Browns have gotten the return of the investment they put in that room. Last year, it certainly would have worked out better if all these guys didn't end up on IR. I do agree with you that they probably feel pretty comfortable because you have Sione Taki Taki now on this roster and Anthony Walker. You brought both of them back coming off of you know pretty significant season-long injuries. Obviously, the Browns feel you know that their path back to the field is not that complicated as far as when their return dates possibly could be. Anthony Walker, look, it was the same case in Indianapolis. Everybody talked about the guy, the type of leader he was, you know, the way he was giving of himself as far as helping players who didn't understand things, giving extra time. Hey, I know this is what the coaches are saying. Let me show you. Let me help you see what they're trying to explain to you. When you got a guy like, you know, uh, Shaq Leonard, one of the best linebackers in the NFL, saying, I owe almost everything I have to a guy like Anthony Walker. The Washington visit was a little strange, but you get down to it. He's always had a good relationship. Uh, of course, with Jacoby Brissett, it would have been an opportunity to get him maybe closer to his home in Florida. Maybe it was just enough to give a little, you know, pluck to the Browns, you know, saying, hey, look, I will look around, you know, and then now it gets done one day later. There's a player. And the other thing is you have players clamoring for him, asking for him, wanting him back. Um, you know, there's recruiting players and everybody does that. But when you have, you know, players who played with a certain guy and say, we need a walk back. That kind of rings and, and it, you know, resonates as far as the type of guy he is. And the Browns get that leader back on defense that they oh so desperately need.